The 2023 edition of Father Sunday has come and gone, with many using the opportunity to eulogize the men in their lives. While amid the celebration, the message to the Christian men in the Diocese of Abuja Anglican Communion is to live a transformed life as that will kickstart the journey of transforming the society. Just Philip Uwakola was at the Basilica of Grace Church Gudu Abuja to witness the celebration. He tells us more. The place of fathers in the home is one that has remained sacrosanct and that is why the church made a special effort to call to the attention of men the need to live a transformed life as a prerequisite to our transformed homes and society while delivering Simon Asika's preacher, architect Ade Ademo, while speaking to men at the Basilica of Christ Church, threw light on this topic. Have you encountered him in this fashion? You are the date of salvation. If I ask you, what is your birthday? Many of us know our birthdays, if not all of us, I believe all of us do. But do you know the day you were born with it? The celebration was a monumental one. The children, women, and staffs and colors showed the men appreciation through their presentations. The men also made their presentations. Awards were given to winners of sports competitions. Cutting off cake was the climax of the day. Thoughts on the topic is the take home as the vicar, the president of the Christian Men's Fellowship, and others shared their opinions. It dawned on the primate before he chose this topic that if the father is transformed, the home will be transformed. So, and that is why we now we are now calling on fathers that for them to have a transformed home, for them to have transformed children, for them to have transformed wives, it must begin with them. The most the topic is so critical that a man are be called upon to get closer to God more than ever before. I want to encourage all the fathers that you need the help of God in your home. And if you allow him, it will definitely make your homes heaven on earth. Happy Father's Day to all our daddies outside there. We pray as you celebrate this year's Father's Day, the Lord will keep you alive to celebrate the next year in the name of Jesus. It's very germane at this time because uh, the, if, the effect of society on the home, it's not, too, it's not going too well. And uh, we need to address the issues of fathers and how they structure their home. And uh, today was so enlightening. As uh, chairman of the organizing committee, it's been some months of planning, planning, and uh, finally we can see that everything has come out well and glory to God. I feel very happy, very excited for a day like this. We've been planning it and today is the day. So we are grateful to God. I encourage every father to be transformed, be built in the word of God, know how to be a leader in your family, in the society and everywhere, even in the church. We believe that with time, a lot of families will be touched I'm here to go a long way in helping, in raising those families. And then, if the families do well, the church will do well. But if people are blessed in the church, there's limit to what they can do. But if a lot of people are, are, are empowered in the church and they can do better than they are doing presently, definitely it will rub off on the church. And most importantly, so that at the end of the race, our life, or you know, our race in, you know, in, in this life, our main focus is to make heaven. And if we're, if we're brought together as a church, it will be nice that we will be able to touch souls within the church. Charles Philip Oakolam, ACNN News.